Every week, the program Sports Nation introduces you to the main events of Kazakhstan and world sports. We cover large tournaments, find outstanding heroes, and open doors to the best sports arenas in the country. In today's program, we will visit the unique sports palace Alau. We'll talk to the goalkeeper of the national football team of Kazakhstan, Nenad Erich and learn about the intricacies of preparing future swimming champions. Now briefly about the main news of the week. Twelve players of the football club Astana are invited to the national team of Kazakhstan. Among them are the players of the youth team Bakhtiar Zainuddinov and Yuri Pitsuk. On March 23rd, the Kazakh national team will hold a friendly match with Hungary in Budapest. And three days later in Hungary, Velchuk will meet with Bulgaria. Let us remind you that since the beginning of March, Stanimir Stoilov, who previously worked in Astana Club, has been leading the national team of Kazakhstan. Olympic champion Daniel Yelusinov now will start a new page of his career in professional boxing. The Kazakh boxer will cooperate with British promoter Eddie Hearn, who works with such stars as Kell Brook and Amir Khan. Yelusinov will debut on professional ring on April 28th on the undercard of Daniel Jacobs' battle. For me, it's very good to be active, especially since my father is always with me. He will train me. I think I need to go on and show myself on the professional ring. Another Kazakhstani professional boxer, Kanat Islam, signed a contract with the Lithuanian-American manager Egis Klimas, who is known for his work with Vasily Lomachenko, Alexander Usyk and Sergei Kovalev. Captain of Boris Nigel Doss took first place in the list of the best snipers of the regular season of the Continental Hockey League this season. In 46 matches of regular season, forward of Kazakhstan club scored 35 goals. This indicator was best in the league. Also, Doss was among the top three scorers. Coming up on Sports Nation, we'll find out why the ice in the Sports Palace Alau is considered one of the best in the world. This ice palace became the first sports complex in the capital and in the whole country with an ice track of world level. Alau was built on the eve of the Asian Games in 2011. The construction of the palace took four years. The goal was to create an ice track in terms of technical parameters not inferior to the Olympic facilities. The quality of the ice is maintained by the microclimate. There are sensors of temperatures of air, concrete, plates and so on. We are not affected by external factors. I do not know anything newer and more advanced. It is comparable to other ice rinks of the world level. The arena consists of two hockey courts and a 400-meter ice track. The palace can accommodate up to 8,000 people. Now Alau conducts training in figure skating, short track, ice hockey and recently curling was added to this list. Experts consider this ice one of the best in the world. During the Asian Games, athletes have set nine continental records. A section for figure skating opens every September. About 200 people come. It is impossible to accept everyone this sport is very popular. In the summer we have a summer sports center project. Besides ice there are roller skating, badminton, table tennis for children and inflatable trampoline. Within the framework of these two projects, approximately 750,000 people visited Alau Center. The peak days were during mass skating. The number has reached about 1,500 people at a time. Astana residents fell in love with the Ice Palace not only thanks to mass skating, in Alau, there is a large fitness center and a versatile sports hall. The palace arena itself has become multifunctional thanks to the reconstruction. We now have the opportunity to melt the ice, dismantle the hockey boxes, everything. The arena will be of the same level. These partitions have been specially made lightweight so that they can be dismantled too. 
overlapping tunnels, and there will be a huge platform on which it is possible to conduct large concerts and competitions. Ala is called not only an architectural decoration of the city, but also a sports gate to the capital. During the years of its work, many sports have reached a new level, and the palace has become the forge of future champions. Next on Sports Nation, goalkeeper of football club Astana, Nenad Eric, will share with us the brightest stages of his career. He is one of the best goalkeepers in Kazakhstan. All the football fans know him. Nenad Eric plays in Astana club since 2010. During this period of time, he became a multiple champion of Kazakhstan and national football team player. Nenad, the season has started. You won the Super Cup, but Stoilov left. How is the mood in the team? It's good. We won the Super Cup, but on the one hand, our coach left, as everyone already knows. He will coach the national team, but still, the atmosphere is good. We are ready for work. Round of 32 of the League of Europe is at the glass ceiling with the current players of Astana. My opinion is that this is a very good achievement, that we reached the round of 32. I think that in past years we have shown ourselves from a good side in Europe. We played well, and I think that Astana will move forward every year. Nenad, your family is in sports too. Your father is a handball player. As your brother, why did you choose football? My father is now retired. He watches my matches, monitors my career. My brother too. When I was a kid, I always loved football. I began to play when I was nine years old. From the very beginning, I wanted to stand at the gate, and I'm very happy that I'm protecting the gates of Astana. Then you were invited to the youth national team of Serbia. I played one game, and I was invited a few more times, but this was only a youth team. And who was at the youth team? There was Kolarov. He is playing now in Rome. There was Brynislav Ivanovic. The goalkeeper was Stojkovic. He plays now for Partizan. Where did an invitation to Kazakhstan come from? And how did the family feel about the move to Kazakhstan? On the one hand, we felt that it was far away, then we got used to it. From Serbia, I signed a contract with Siberia from Novosibirsk. There I played for two years and then came to Kairat. I spent there one year in 2010, and since 2011 I am in Astana. Do they know about your success in Serbia? Yes, they do. Friends are always interested. They saw when we won the Super Cup, the journalists congratulated me too. Was it difficult to make a psychological transition from the European Cup matches, where their top teams, the full court, and the entire football entourage to the matches of the Championship of Kazakhstan? Sometimes it's hard. When we play in the European arena, there is more tension. We want to achieve even greater success for the club. We want to move forward. You are invited to the national team, but you have not yet made your debut in official matches. Why? When 
When I was called to the team, a letter from FIFA came, saying that I had games for the national team of Serbia. Then they began to send the papers, but something did not work. The Serbian Football Federation allowed me to play, because I did not play any games for the national team, and now we're waiting for FIFA to give the go-ahead. How long should you wait? I do not know. We are doing what we can. I think soon all this will be solved. Why Stanimir Stoilov is cool? Stanimir Stoilov is a very strong specialist. He showed it with Astana. He's tough? On one hand, yes. On the other, no. How is this manifested? When he should be tough, he is tough. For example, on the field, he knows when to be like that. He's different in the locker room. He even talks in a different way, not so strictly. Stoilov led the team. Are there any chances to achieve success at the level of the team, while there are no such performers of the same level as Tumasi? If he took the national team, I think that the national team will reach a new level and the results will be there. I think that people from the Federation of Football have made the right decision, because he knows the mentality, the players here for a long time. What are the three best goalkeepers in Kazakhstan? Let me think. Mokin, Plotnikov, goalkeeper of Kairat. Loria is an experienced goalkeeper. What is the main problem of Kazakhstan football in your opinion? I would like the clubs to pay attention to the quality of the fields, to have more good stadiums, infrastructure. What is the worst stadium you saw in Kazakhstan? We can say that it's hard to play at the stadium in Atrau, where they have synthetics. It is of a very poor quality. The main stadium is good, but in a weather like today, for example, they play in a spare stadium. It's very difficult to play there. You have been living in Kazakhstan for a long time. Do you know any words in Kazakh? I learned a few. What do you think about Kazakh cuisine? Yes, it is delicious, but a little bit fatty, but tasty. Where do you see yourself in five years? I'll be in football, maybe goalkeeper coach. I've dedicated my whole life to football. The Champions League, is it a special feeling? This is every football player's dream. The most memorable match in the Astana club. I think two matches. First, when we passed Abuel on the road. The second match with Atletico Madrid, we played 0-0. Local fans adore you. On these stands, your name is chanted more often than others. Now there is an opportunity to say something to the fans. Very nice when I hear the stands. I want to express my gratitude to the fans. They're always with us. I hope they will help us in the championship of Kazakhstan and in the European competition. Nenad, thank you. We wish you more of dry matches. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. The trainer Nurjak Sayir Kebulan will tell us why swimming is so popular in Kazakhstan on Sports Nation.
Pull your hands wider, higher. Now work with your legs. Жалпы балларда бірінші келгеннен бастап суды сезіну, суды сезіну. When children come to swimming for the first time, my first task is to teach them to feel the water. To do this, we involve parents so that they help their children learn how to swim. The second task, which is no less important, is to teach children not to be afraid of water. Every lesson we start with a warm-up. Then we work on breathing. We warm up our hands and legs. We approach it individually. For example, if a child has a good ability to swim with a breaststroke, give him a special board and train his legs. If he is good in crawl stroke, we strengthen the work of both legs and hands. It is not important if a child has an inclination towards swimming or not. Each coach has his own technique and goals. It takes three months to teach a child to swim well. Swimming is one of the oldest sports. People began to compete in speed on the water in the late 15th century in Venice. In 1896, swimming was included in the program of the Olympic Games for the first time. There are several types of swimming on which the competitions are held. Freestyle, breaststroke, regular crawl and crawl on the back. Again. Good. Now another five times. Breathe through your mouth. Exhale through your nose. I chose swimming because from childhood I saw myself in the water. I swam in the lake, then in the river. I swam from one shore to the other. It is not difficult to master the technique of swimming. First we need a goal, and secondly patience. Without it there is no way one can succeed. Put your head down. Good. Quickly work your feet. Excellent. Raise your hands higher. A boom in swimming in Kazakhstan began after the Olympic medals on swimming. Different people come here from small children to old retirees. When Zulfia Gabidulina won the gold of the Paralympic Games, people with disabilities began to come to us more often. Now people from 7 to 72 years old are engaged in swimming. Swimming is perhaps one of the most accessible sports. The truth is, not every major city had a swimming pool. Now the situation has improved noticeably. Now there is even a variety of swimming pools. Until 2016, swimming in Kazakhstan was not so popular and few expected that Kazakhstani swimmers can compete for the highest awards of the Olympic Games. There are many reasons why one might like swimming. It is enough to look at the number of Michael Phelps awards. I dream that my students aspire to his level. After the gold of Balandin, people even come with three-month-old children. Of course, it is too early to learn how to swim for them, but they can already get accustomed to the water. If earlier I had two groups of children, then after the Olympic Games in Rio, I have eight groups. In each of them there are 20 children. Recently, grandmother and her grandchild came to see me. She is 72 years old, and her goal is to learn how to swim. Swimming is very useful for the body. First of all, being in water gives people good emotions. Swimming releases stress, normalizes blood pressure. All internal organs start working correctly. By tradition, the video of the week concludes our program. This time, we bring to your attention the final of the school basketball tournament in the USA. 
The dramatic ending of an equal duel will be remembered by fans for a long time.